You know when this guy was first selected, he was a long shot to make the NHL. But those in the know, uh, considering how good his NCAA career was going, felt he had a really strong chance of making it. Maybe not with his draft team, but maybe with some other squad. And of course, it happened with his draft team, and it happened with other squads as well. So today we're going to be talking about the legend of Steve Weeks. Now, Steve Weeks was selected in the 11th round, 176 overall by the Rangers in a 1978 amateur draft. Now, let's remember what the Rangers had back then. Wayne Thomas, Solitart, and John Davidson. So it was more uh, what you call as a backup to a situation that might occur. Now, he came, first came to major prominence at the 71 Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament with a minor hockey squad from Toronto. Now, the native of Scarborough uh, had a very strong minor career before going on to North Michigan. In 75 in Markham, he played in 15 games with a 3.80 average in his OPJHL years. 76 with Toronto of the OMJHL, he played in 18 games with a 4.95 average. Now with North Michigan in North Michigan in 77, a 7-7 record. Now this was North Michigan's first Division I hockey team, a lot of pressure on him, and he came through. His second season was tremendous. In 19 games, he won 10-5-2 with a 3.31 average and one shutout. Now he made his debut on April 2nd, 81 against the New York Islanders. Now, although he never won a Stanley Cup, he was also an original Ottawa Senator. He showed up uh, with them uh, uh, during their initial campaign. Now, he wore number 35 for Hartford in the preseason, but his numbers were uh, all over the place, mostly number 31. He won th were 31 with the Rangers, 31 with Hartford, 31, 33 with Vancouver, number one with New York Islanders, number one with LA, and number one with Ottawa. Now, uh, the uh, the loss to the Islanders in his uh, in his opener wasn't a negative because he only gave up two game, two goals in a two one loss. Now he also appeared in a playoff game with the Rangers that year, allowing no goals in 14 minutes of ice time. Now in '82, under new head coach Herb Brooks, Weeks became the Rangers' starting goalie, leading New York with a 23-69 record, with a 3.77 goals against average and a shutout in 49 games, leading the club into the playoffs. However, Weeks struggled in the postseason and lost his job to former Oiler Eddie Mio as the Rangers lost to the Islanders in the Patrick Division Finals. Now, Weeks' play, uh, playing time decreased in 83, and he just he appeared just 18 games for the Rangers, going 9-5-3 with a 3.91 average. Now, he also played that year with the Tulsa Oilers of the ZHL with eight, a 10 and a nothing record in 19 games with a 3.23 goals against average. Now, Weeks once again saw some time with Tulsa in 84, appearing in three games with a 2.33 average. He spent the majority of the 94 season at Glen Annals back up with the Rangers with a 10-11-2 record with a 3.97 uh, average and a save percentage of 865. Now, because of the backlog with the Rangers backstops, we knew something was going to have to be done uh, from February to September 5th, 84. The Rangers traded weeks to the Whalers for future considerations, which eventually became the Whalers' third round draft pick in the 86 NHL entry draft. Now, he became the, uh, the backup goalie for Hartford for 85, first to Greg Millen and then to Mike Leweet, after Millen and Leweet were traded for each other. In 23 games, Weeks led the Whalers with two shutouts and had a 9-12-2 record with a 3.91 goals against average and an 87% save percentage. He also saw time in the minors with Bennington with a 5-0 record in five games with the small club. Now, Weeks backed up Weeks in 86, going 13-13 with 3.85 average and an 86% save percentage in 27 games. He appeared in four playoff games with the squad, going 1-2, in three games as the Whalers lost to the Canadians in the Adams Division Finals. I think if Hartford would have bet Montreal, they would have won the Cup, so it was that close. In 87, he appeared in 25 games, going 12-8-2 with a 3.42 average. And uh, in 88, uh, with the Whalers, he went 6-7-2 in 18 games with a 3.59 average. Now, of all things, the Whalers traded weeks to Vancouver for King Richard Brodeur. Now, with Vancouver, with a lot of pressure, he saw increased playing time when he joined the Canucks. 
uh, appearing in nine games, posting a 4.32 record and a 3.38 average in nine games. Now, in 89, uh, Weeks appeared in 35 games, his highest total since 82 with the Rangers. He had an 11, 19, and 5 record, but a decent 2.98 goals against average. Now, he split playing time with Cuck McLean. The Cucks, uh, the Cucks did play, uh, qualify for the playoffs, and in three playoff games against the Flames, he had a 1 1 record. Now, uh, Weeks saw his playing time diminish in 1990, playing in only 21 games as he struggled to a 4-11-4 record. Now, in 91, Weeks appeared only one game in Vancouver and spent the rest of the season with the Milwaukee Admirals of the IHL, where he went 16-19. Now, he was eventually traded to Buffalo in March of uh, 91 for future considerations. After the trade, he remained with the Admirals and was great and granted free agency after the season. Now, Weeks eventually signed with the Honors on September 16, 91, and became the Honors backup goalie for the 92 season. In 23 games for the Honors, he put together a solid 9-4-2 record with a 3.60 goals against average. Now, on February 18, 92, the uh, traded Weeks to the Kings for a 7-round pick in the 92 draft. Now, with the Kings, he went 1-3 in 7 games with a 4.05 average. Now, after the season, Weeks became a free agent, and on June 16, 92, he signed with Washington. Less than two minutes later, the Capitals traded Weeks in expansion Ottawa Senators for future considerations. Now, Ottawa had a rough campaign in 93. In seven games with Ottawa, he had an 0-5 record with a 7.23 goals against average. His struggles continued when he played the minors, as in six games with New Haven, he went 0-6 with a 5.94 goals against average. On February 20th, uh, 93 weeks announced his retirement for the NHL. Now, a lot of people remember him as well for his uh, strong performance for Team Canada at the 85 Worlds in Prague. In five games, he went 3 1 and 1 and helped Canada to a, a well deserved silver medal. Now, he's been very active uh, in his career in coaching. He became the uh, Whalers goalie consultant following his retirement in 93. He remained in the organization in 2001 and was also an AC for the club in 97. He was an AC with the Thrashers as well from 2001 to 2010. He was originally hired by the Thrashers on June 26, 2001 as an assistant to Kurt Frazier. During tenure with the club, he helped the Thrashers to the first playoff berth in 2007. Now, Weeks also began the goalie coach for Chicago on August 12, 2013. So again, a, a tremendous, tremendous career in hockey. Uh, and we have to really uh, uh, note his, uh, his last two seasons in Northern Michigan, 1382 and 79, 29 6 and 1 in 1980. So again, a complete and utter steal. He was all CA, CCHA second team in 79, all CCHA first team in 1980, all NCAA all tournament in 1980. Now, to, to go over uh, what Weeks has done over hockey, again, a pro scout as well for Carolina, that meant a lot uh, as well. The, uh, he holds a distinction as well of uh, the, uh, the first Vancouver goalie to be named NHL Player of the Week when he achieved the honor for, uh, for the week on November 21st, 88. Now, uh, again, None of more awards we're going to talk about uh, this as we go along. He was the CCHA Player of the Year in 1980. Again, All-Star first team in 80 and, and second team in 79. All-Academic first team in 1980. Senior East-West All-Star Game, 1980. Northern Michigan MVP, 79 and 80. Northern Michigan uh, Coaches Academic Award, 79 and 80. Northern Michigan Tri-Captain, 79-80. He had the lowest career goals against average, highest career save percentage, best career winning percentage, and highest season save percentage in, the, in that uh, great run in the late uh, 80s, early 90s. He was also the CCHA goals against, uh, goals against average leader in 1980 with a 2.95. Now, he... Uh, he played on two regular season champions with Tulsa in 84 in the CHL and Bennington in 85. Now, he also majored in conservation in Northern, Northern Michigan, Michigan, so a very uh, smart cat. He also took flying lessons to attain the pilot's license during his off seasons of his playing career. Now, uh, 
The the trade for the Rangers to Hartford is very complex. We'll go over this because it was big news back in the day. He was traded to Hartford in exchange for future considerations on September 5th, 84. The deal called for the Rangers to get Hartford's 86th second round pick if Weeks won a combined 25 games uh, in the regular season of playoffs in 85 and 86, and a third round pick of Weeks did not reach 25 wins. Weeks won a total of 23 games, and the deal was completed when the Rangers received 1986 third round uh, pick. So again, Weeks' career was tremendous, continues to uh, be a fan favorite uh, years after his retirement. His dedication to hockey is quite uh, quite impressive. Again, this uh, this was given by our uh, great uh, supporter of the channel, requesting Bo Shees. Thank you, Bo. And uh, Bo is the type of person, he loves himself, a good backup goalie, and that's what Weeks was, one of the better backup goalies of his generation. Thanks for listening. Bye.